Hi, this is Suze Laventero. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Aries reading. And I pulled out these cards. And they have a bunch of different cards and I don't know where the book is, but these two came out. And, okay, so today I was reading some articles about animals and then this evening I was watching this video about how um, they were creating, trying to create dolphin robots so that um, it's like people could still profit and also uh, bring joy to people, right, uh, without um, hurting the dolphins and things like that. Okay, so anyway, but that's interesting because this uh, Himsa came out. Okay, so... Uh, probably some of that was due to my focus today and um, there are some other things that were coming up too uh, about uh, the animals being hurt during war and um, and so that was popping up okay so now so ahimsa can be considered like kindness compassion it's like um, having mercy and uh, forgiveness. It's like all those things. It's like um, non-injury, okay, non-injury to others and beings, animals included, right? Okay, some people just use these animals as a target practice, okay. All right, now. There's no judgment in that, but I feel like moving forward, I feel like it's really important to uh, start with the self because if we're not kind to ourselves, right? We're not loving ourselves. We're not seeing ourselves as honorable or worthy or noble or um, beautiful even, right? Uh, then uh, some funky energy can come out. Okay. All right. So, and here is Saha, uh, Saha, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Let me get, look. Saha, Sra, Okay. At any rate, what I'm getting from this is this, the crown. Okay, so, okay, so crown chakra, okay, so, so a lot of what happens here starts with the mind, right? Aligning that mind with the heart, okay, and then we can, as we find compassion for ourselves, right? Uh, then we can find compassion for others. Okay, so sometimes it's it, it may be challenging, right? During these kind of times where we're seeing um, things happen, right? Okay, so um, sometimes we just have to take our focus off there and focus on uh, our own energy. Okay. Yeah. And this is all about sometimes ego, right? Like feeling like, um, I feel like what that comes from is a, uh, not feeling powerful within your own energy. So then you have to uh, do things on the outside, right? Okay. So now Aries, just, I want to let you know that this is probably coming in because of this is the energy that people use to uh, start up businesses. And uh, this is like energy that's used during competition and uh, businesses. So, um, okay, nothing personal here. But the great news is this is here, right? So that would be a reflection of you, this highest form of energy in the crown. Okay, let's see what else comes out.
dancer connection. Okay. Okay, so sometimes when we're in extreme energy, that can uh, feel like we need to recharge. Okay. So it's like, what if we're not, if we don't feel uh, energy, then it could be what we're practicing. Okay, so here's star and inspiration, but I feel like this is who you are, this shining star. Look at this, brilliance and inspiration. Okay. Okay, so I feel like some of you took a pause from your work to do this connection thing. Okay, and some of you got married, and you're enjoying that, and then you've extended that uh, good feeling energy to connect with family, and um, I feel like now you're feeling like you can expand even more on business. Okay, but it's kind of like this... Uh, reaching energy so it's like it hasn't emerged yet i feel like so you still are maybe in the dream state okay with it this is like expanding on a business okay camel pose came out before fortitude Woo! open heart okay Okay, and here's the rebirth for some of you. I feel like if you've been, uh, if you're single, I feel like it's calling for opening like the, the heart chakra. Okay, and whereas you would uh, maybe retreat and um, put a posture that uh, would be kind of puffed out maybe, um, it's like letting, opening the heart and letting that emanate into the rebirth state. Knowledge. Yeah, and I feel like there's going to be a nice assimilation here. This is like part of the ego thing. It's like assimilating that into your experience here in a nice, balanced, healthy way. Okay. And... It's due to that opening of the heart chakra. Okay. Woo! Okay, so you got higher vision and this card. Okay. Okay, so it's like... Some of this might be like Pisces energy for some of you here. <clears throat> okay, and a lot of what was going on in the, my Pisces reading was Pisces. <laughs> in, okay, so Pisces was having like um, wanting to go back to the past person and uh, get them, right? Be with them. Okay, and here's a thunderbolt awakening. So I feel like you might be doing that too if this is showing up in your cusping energy. Okay, so there may be a big chance that you do that if you're single. Okay. Now for some of you that I was talking about that's a couple and you were giving energy to love and then that feel-good place was going to help you flow into a new place with your business. Okay, so it's like trying out new things is opening up the doors for you and then you're going to wake up to it right suddenly it's like epiphany okay and then uh here it is okay so pay attention to um so maybe take time right to do maybe um Okay, so some of you who do yoga might maybe have been putting it off here. Okay, so 
um, because you were getting adjusted to your new routines, uh, getting to know each other and things like that. Okay. Um, for the married couple. Okay. So, okay. For some of you, it was like, um, having a child and that was an adjustment. Okay. So what am I getting with that? Okay. So it's like you put a pause button on the dreams and you had to focus elsewhere, but now you've already, uh, had the ideas rolling that you just haven't acted on it. So I feel like this is where the energy comes and you have, you bring your dreams into this reality. Okay. Here's Cobra Pose. This is like the crown too. Okay. And intelligence. Okay. So we want to align that mind with the heart, right? And not let the mind rule over the heart. I feel like that's important. Because that's how we open up and allowing the full healing to take place for those who feel like they need it. Wow. Okay. So back to what I was saying with the horse, right? Um, these are creatures too, right? Even if it's a snake, a horse, a cat, these are living beings. So even if uh, you may not l like them, you could at least get to neutral, right? I feel like that's really important. You don't have to like them, but you could at least get to neutral. Okay. Okay, so here was a cat pose. I think that came up in another reading. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's see what's what else is going on here with the work stuff. Yeah. So it's like following your intuition and your impulses in your gut, right? Nine of Swords. Oh, that's weird, because when I looked here, it almost said Nine of Words. Okay, so maybe someone's words. Okay. Three of Swords. What is all this? Okay, so maybe someone's words have been bothering you. Oh, this is a Pisces moon reading. Oh, okay. I was like, what is this? Okay. Okay, so this is bringing stuff out in the, uh, from the Pisces moon. That's what the, they're saying here. Okay, because five of pentacles reversed. Okay. All right. So whatever this is, it's calling for this ahimsa, non-harming, right? And even if you're saying to yourself or to another person, these words, right? Uh, thoughts can turn into things. So what we want to do is move it within our own energy so we're not hurting other people through our thoughts. I feel like that's really important. Okay, now. Ooh, what are these cards I'm trying to get in here? Okay. Okay, so you wanted to work on it with someone for so someone. Okay. This is high vibing energy. 
Okay, so this story was like a prince, and it was like what adults see and what you see. Okay, so there might be something with holding on to some sort of childlike energy. I don't know if that's ego related or not. Okay, so you that you'll have to. Okay, so five of pentacles reverse. So focusing on those things that irritate you uh, could have affected your money. So what you want to do is get in that feel good place here, page of pentacles. And at any rate, you're going to start to see signs. Okay, of the new beginning. If you pay attention in your physical reality. Okay, so Ace of Wands. Okay, so you've got Page and an Ace. Okay. I feel like this is a playful energy that you want to move with. Okay, so here's Four of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so that's progress, I feel like. Because you've got a Pentacle here, an Ace of Wands. Let's get more cards on this. All right, let's see. I feel like you were holding tightly to money for some of you. Okay. And super tight. Sometimes when it, you hold on too tight, then uh, you can get into extreme energy where you're, you know, go from like one extreme to another. Okay. All right. So four pinnacles. Let's see what that is. Okay. So you're back and forth in your head about that okay some of you it's your Scorpio energy in your chart that's causing this weeble wobble okay so you want to find the positive aspects of that okay now some of you are rebirthing something new okay Page of Cups reverse. That could be like an immature earth sign, maybe. Or that's how you see them. Some of you, this could be uh, worrying about your children and what to do with them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, some of you, it's like expenses with child. It's like wanting to put on the brakes. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. And the devil is next to that. Okay, so Capricorn. So I feel like you want to work on your mastery. Okay. Some of you, it's a partnership. Some of you, it's like you want to improve your relationship with children. Okay, and some of you want to take this mastery to the next level, right? Okay, um, okay, so this could be like <laughs> this could be like doing a yoga business. And then springing into some other thing like lingerie or something like that is what I'm getting here. Okay. For someone. Okay, now. Yeah, see? Here's the new beginning. The full. Okay. 
So at any rate, whether it's the child or someone trying to come together with a partner um, and or business, there's a new beginning here, even in money. Okay, so that's what it's saying. Okay, three of pentacles. Okay. Mastery and workability is what I'm getting here. So, okay, so now this crown is lit up, right? And you got two crown cards over here. So I feel like it's like saying, loosen the load on the intellect and light up, okay, your crown. Yeah, you've got a lot of uh, potential here, Seven of Cups. Looks like Christmas. <laughs> okay, and some of you may, uh, to get to that mastery, you may choose to uh, teach or be extra selfish and study something on the side. Something like that's coming up here. to move into this emperor mode. Okay. Now some of you didn't have a very good Father's Day. Okay, got emperor reversed and five of pentacles. Okay. Or you could have been thinking about Father, right? And maybe they were busy here, Five of Pentacles. Okay, but it's going to heal. It's going to come together. Okay, so some of you were thinking about uh, father. Okay. And I feel like that's gonna, there's gonna be healing there. It's gonna all work out. Okay. Oh, some of you were, were raised by mother. And so, because that's what they're giving me with this. Some of you were raised by mother, mostly. And so you're closer to your mother than you are your father. Okay, so that's what that was. Okay, and so um, maybe some of you weren't uh, were thinking of them, but uh, you weren't. You didn't feel uh, like you were gonna send a message. That's what I'm getting. But you wanted to. Nine of Wands. Yeah, but you didn't. Okay. Okay, so then Four of Wands comes in. So, whatever happens here, it's it's a happy next phase. Okay, so that's what I want to say. Okay, so it's like wishes and dreams coming true for what it is you desire. That's what this reading is telling me. Okay, so remembering not to practice, right? Even dancing, maybe, right? Connecting with people every day, right, if, if you want. And practicing ahimsa, which is non-harming, okay? And that's in word, words, thought, and action. And then uh, lighting up your crown uh, and aligning that intellect with the heart and opening the heart, right? We had that. And moving into this new phase. You got the full card, so new beginning. I'll leave you with that. Thank you.